everything that they're bringing through in the here and now for us, they is to help us with becoming healers of our planet, to understand what's happening on our planet now, to bring ourselves to a higher perspective of our beingness so that we can each stand in the core of our own personal power and our own divine connection and bring healing to the planet as the planet needs it. <laughs> it needs it, but not each of us is meant to heal in every platform at every minute. So they told me and it's a lesson that they've been sharing with me a bit over the past week, um, but only a little to attune me to it. They give me like a pre-lesson about how, um, today we're gonna talk about how the rocks and the trees are siblings. And I will learn while you learn. Okay, um, for, our friends who are here with us on Zoom, uh, feel welcome to ask questions. And I'm really not sure why when my image is pinned, um, when we Zoom to YouTube, uh, anyone who speaks is shown. There's some sort of glitch in the system there, but that's happened before and uh, there's no way to fix it. So if you want to maintain total anonymity, when we're done with the zooming to YouTube, you know, you can save a question for then and we can, you know, I, I'll still be connected. I'll be able to tap in and hear what they have to say. Um, but otherwise, you know, feel welcome to ask any questions, share comments. And um, let's see, it's 7.11 now. If someone could speak up around 7.30, 7.40, um, I think that would be more than enough time to have them in my body for tonight. Okay. And those of you who are joining us on YouTube, thanks for joining. We will not always live stream, but the librarians really wanted to share this message with everyone tonight. Right. Let us connect together with our opening meditation. It's so nice to be sharing that again. We haven't done this since early July. So everyone who's with us, whether you're with us live or watching later, please allow yourself to be comfortable in whatever way is comfortable for you in this moment. Invite your energy to relax and flow and just do its thing. Invite your body to relax and flow and do its thing. Invite your root chakra to open wide, to open wide so that all the energy that's in your body, including any anxieties or stresses from the day or any issues or any unnecessary thoughts that are irritating you or emotions that are hanging out, you know, below the frequency of love or happiness, invite all of that to just flow through you, down through your open root chakra to earth, where our divine mother will very happily absorb all of this and transmute it to the highest frequency of love and then send it outward. Invite your crown chakra to open up. Invite the top of your head to relax. Become receptive so that your soul, your guardian angel, your past lives, your 
guides, your guardians, your friends of the non-physical, and your personal librarian. For each of us has a librarian who observes and documents and notes as an expert of our many lives and our time between lives. Invite your crown to open so that they may come and connect with your energy frequency and send all of their wonderful divine love and messages and energy and healing and happiness and all the good stuff in through your receptive open top of your head and your crown chakra to flow into your body, through your body, and then down through your wide open root chakra and allow it to fill your body and come out through your skin, your porous being, on out to your energetic body, on out. It doesn't matter what you think of yourself or how you feel about yourself. It is completely appropriate to take a moment, this moment, any moment you want, to become a flowing transponder of loving divine frequencies. And invite all of this energy to just mesh with yours. Your soul is here with you. Your guardian angel is here. Your librarian, your personal librarian is here. I guarantee these three, your soul, your guardian angel, and your personal librarian are very dear friends, often in communication and connection. All of them helped plan you. They're the ones who designed you and set your life path and your challenges your karmic lessons. They're the ones who helped you decide where you want to go in life, what you want to do, whom you will have soul contracts with. No one knows you better than these three. And they love you completely. They love you absolutely. And they are always cheering for you. Always trying, offering to help you to go forward with your life. To no matter what happens in your life, always find your way back to joy and love and lessons learned and moving on, growing, evolving. So invite yourself to open, receive, and flow. If you feel any pain or pressure, acknowledge it, give it permission to resolve itself. As you are open, receiving, and flowing. Our beloved librarians are here. Here, already flowing in. <laughs> in case you're wondering why I sounded so wise, they're already flowing in. And they're tickling me. <laughs> so now it's time for me to flow out and join the Akashic Collective as they flow in and take over my body. And I am with part of them, but outside of my body, so I don't interfere. <laughs> 